Hey guys, beautiful spring day here in Massachusetts, about 65 degrees. It's about time after a long winter. Uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, consistency and uh, probably start with a quote from Aristotle that says, uh, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence therefore is not an act but a habit. And uh, that really is very true, you know, uh, and, and we see this in the New Year's resolution. People are kind of, um, you know, they kind of lead the pack here as, as, an, as far as an example goes. You know, the New Year's resolution person uh, starts off and they're all gung-ho. The first, they show up at the gym with their new sweatsuit and their new sneakers that they got for Christmas. And they start off real hard and they last about two weeks. And then, of course, they're off for a month, month and a half, two months, whatever it is before, you know, springtime shows up. Maybe they have to put on shorts and a t-shirt. And uh, they realize that they're not real happy with the way they look. And then they start another two weeks and they, and they do the same thing over and over again. You know, so that quote that I just said, it, it's about what you repeatedly do. It's about what you do on a daily basis. You know, you don't have to be Superman at any one given point in time. And I think that we're all prone to that a little bit, that we have the Superman syndrome where we wake up one day and we feel like we can beat the world and, uh, you know, we're off to the races. And But we don't repeat that every day. And, and I think that some of it has to do with not really um, coming up with a game plan for repetition. You know, that we wake up one day and that's as far as we think. We don't think about the future. We know what we want, but we don't really have a game plan. We don't have it mapped out. We don't have, have a calendar, an appointment book, and all those things, just like we do with other areas of our lives where we're successful. You know, so, so that's probably how you want to go about handling things so that you don't have that Superman syndrome where you have just one fantastic day or a couple of fantastic days and then everything goes by the wayside. You know, you, the, the things that we have at our disposal today as far as, you know, calendars and, and things and stuff on your phone. I'm filming this on my iPhone, which, you know, does everything for me. Sometimes I think it thinks for me and, you know, maybe I ought to do a better job. But it's amazing what we have at our disposal that makes life so easy uh, to be able to remember things. And you can set your alarms on your, on your phone, on your droid, on, you know, whatever it is that you have. Um, it's this voice voice recognition where it will you don't even have to type it in you can just talk into it and Siri will you know schedule an appointment for you or create an alarm for you or or a contact to find a contact for you so you know there's really no excuse as far as uh, having the ability to do it I think that you just need to spend a little time you know sit down and develop a daily game plan you know have a to-do list and a honeydew or you know this is called sometimes a honeydew list honeydew this honeydew that and, and write things down that you're going to need to do every day. Uh, you should this, you know, reaching your goal should be something akin to, you know, brushing your teeth. You would not get up and leave the house without brushing your teeth. You just wouldn't do that. And you shouldn't get up and leave the house without having some game plan as to when, where, how, and why you're going to eat and when, where, how, and why you're going to work out uh, every day, every single day. You know, even a rest day, what they consider a rest day, uh, is a planned rest day. You know, it's not something that just happens to you, and it shouldn't. You know, it should be a planned rest day. If you're taking Sunday off because, you know, you've trained five or six times this week and you think it's a recuperation day, then great, but you need to write that down and put it down as such. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a prize. You know, you, you didn't earn it. It should be part of your plan that there is a rest day that is required there. Um, so, you know, start creating habits, daily habits, things that happen every single day. And I think that you'll find if you do a little bit of work every day that you'll, you're going to get to your goals a lot faster uh, than trying to be Superman for a few days and then a Superwoman. And, and, you know, coming out of the gates like gangbusters for a couple of days or a couple of weeks at a time and then disappearing in, in, into, the, you know, in, in, into the woodwork. So what I would suggest today is plan is or today's uh, you know homework if you will is to start putting those things to create a list of the things that you need to do on a daily basis to be successful just simple things doesn't have to be you know run 19 miles and you know lift uh, you, know, you know lift the house or anything like that but just set aside a little bit of time put it in your to-do list for the day uh, and plan out an entire week and and now you'll have a framework for weeks that follow. Uh, you know, you should never get caught off guard as far as, you know, when you're working out or, or how you're going to eat because you should already have a game plan. You know, if you just kind of get up in the morning and wing it and say, I'll, I'll figure it out as the day goes on, well, that's what you're going to get. So 
let, let's try and break that habit today and that will be you know the the basis of this talk here is to start to plan things plan out your week plan when you're going to work out plan when you're going to cook your food plan how you're going to prepare your food plan where your food's going to be uh, and plan for obstacles so that you know if you get stuck in traffic if you have a late meeting at work that you have the ability to, to take care of this even if those things happen so get out your calendar start using your iPhone and your droid uh, with all the technology that it has instead of wasting it uh, and spending a lot of money on that uh, start using it to your advantage and I think you'll find that you'll be able to create some more habits if you just plan it out you know ahead of time so take that for the day, enjoy this beautiful spring day, and I'll catch up with you later.